Hi, my name is Sam Danish Shekharan and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we will talk about the general overview of the user architecture in database. Basically, what happens in a business scenario. Okay, so in a business scenario, let's say uh, there is an application, let's say a ticketing system, right? Uh, a company runs a ticketing system. Okay, so the application, ticketing system application runs in a box and uh, let's just say the web server also runs in the same box okay so the user I mean the users uh, from internet or anywhere they log into the web server and they use the web server brings the application uh, to them and then uh, the user buys the ticket okay so when the user buys the ticket the application server has to talk to the database so it connects to the database okay so when it makes the connection as which user it has to connect okay so that's the question now let's take this this is the database server okay let's take the users in the database okay so like I explained I need a schema okay let me create a schema called uh, uh, ticket okay so ticket is the schema again it's an user where the tables and indexes are created okay and let me create another user called t underscore user okay this user again is kind of like schema but then it doesn't own any object but it's not also connected to any lively uh, any live uh, person or any employee of the company okay I'll explain why that is and then we have uh, the employee user accounts like I explained you know uh, user 1 user 2 employee 1 2 or 3 whatever you can have so these people would uh, let's say if this is used by an employee uh, like user 2 these people would connect using his or her account which is user 2 and go to the database okay but then uh, this application when it connects okay it has two options one is it can connect as this schema owner itself and start reading the tables or do whatever it wants to do and then bring back the result to here okay the general configuration is for the application to connect it's a common practice to create another user called application user and the main purpose of this user is to work with the schema so it's like this one schema gets created and two the application user app user gets created and number three schema grants permission to the application user okay and the application server connects using the application user the reason the application server mostly uh, doesn't uh, uh, connect using the schema user itself is that uh, you know for the security reason because if someone hacks in the hacks the system or uh, if some if some if someone codes it wrong if the application logs in as the schema owner it can drop the objects if it wants it can completely remove the tables okay but then if it logs in as the application user all uh, you know we can control what this user can do by granting permissions okay so this is the way most of the businesses operate with regard to the database and this is the user architecture so let me explain again then generally there will be an application server which connects to the database using an application user and this user will have sufficient access to this schema we also will have other uh, users who are like developers DBS 
okay but for an application to function the application server will connect as the application user okay uh, the reason why we want to have a separate user why we are not using these users again these users can be removed or created when the users leaves and when then they join so it does it should not affect the application okay so the application will always log in as the application user okay so the user connects to the application server the application connects to the database as an application user and then the application user has access rights to the uh, schema and it brings back the data as requested by the application server thank you for watching